It is Monday and it was a super rainy day all night, all morning, all day until we got home. So perfect timing, took Sophie for a walk. It's beautiful out now, not too hot. I am in my studio at this point doing Draw Right Daily. I'm really wanting to explore some um, abstracts tonight. So maybe I can get a little shot of those and have some fun, play with some color, push around some mark making. I would love that. I'm still working on my food today as asparagus. I will show you where I ended up with that page in just a second. And really thinking about what types of foods I might wanna do as kind of one-off illustrations. I'm really loving this kind of watercolor, messy, um, illustration style. So definitely want to play with that some more. I am looking forward to a busy week and finishing up some of the class stuff I have going on for Wonderlust 2018. My theme is mountains. I need to finish typing up my class details and get that all packaged up and finalized. It is going live in the very near future. Can't wait for that to happen and see what everyone thinks. Um, Art Journal Summer School is also out there and that should be going live very soon as a full class. I have a brand new impressionist thing in that. So definitely if you're looking for some stuff to keep you busy over the summer, uh, kid friendly, exploration, art creating, fun, check those out. Check out my classes page. I will have also abstract art journaling coming live in the fall. And I just have a bunch of stuff out of my YouTube. So if you haven't checked out any of my other stuff, definitely go do that. And I'm looking forward to a creative, um, exercised, and <laughs> relaxing week this week. Hope you're having a good one wherever you are. So today is asparagus, and you can see yesterday was garlic. I really love kind of this style, like splattering and painting and really expressive illustration. I love asparagus, it's one of my favorite vegetables. There's actually a lot of vegetables I really like. I think the only one I don't like is okra. And I don't think I included that on the list. <laughs> um, I decided to go with this green with a nice orangey red to kind of offset the green and complement it. Threw some yellow in there and just really had fun with this one. Um, even though it's fairly simple with just three stalks of asparagus, I really got in there and kind of played with color and pushed the paint around. So hopefully you are joining me for Draw Right Daily or some kind of everyday challenge. It is so much fun to do. It is Thursday, we are downtown. You can see the Capitol building there behind me in Indianapolis. And we are headed to an Indians game, which is the local minor league baseball. Should be a lot of fun. Hey fans, I'm Indians director of field operations, Joey Stevenson, with some turf tips brought to you by Truth Fuel. hanging out in the studio all day. Just finished my Draw Right Daily. Today is orange. I will show you that in a second. Um, I have some tiny like miniature pieces I need to finish up so I can get them in the mail. I'm doing a swap on Instagram and I want to work on a larger painting. I have a big canvas right here and have been wanting to kind of get out my acrylics and just allow myself some freedom to just play and explore. I'm working on some new abstract styles. I have, um, I'm still working on my abstract art journal class that's gonna be coming out this fall. And really just trying to spend an entire day just creating, having fun, enjoying. It's a beautiful day outside. It's gonna be super hot this weekend. Um, but I'm still gonna try and run this afternoon or early evening. And I'm just really like tired. Um, I've been staying up like way too late finishing up stuff and getting up way too early having early like meetings and email stuff and just like business stuff to catch up on. So I'm really looking forward to a day in the studio. 
So here is orange and yesterday was onion. I'm really having fun with these food illustrations and like watercolor. I'm just kind of like really being free and like doing some splattering. Um, that was ramen and just, yeah, exploring almost an abstract illustration watercolor style. Um, we have an orange blossom here and like a cut orange and I use blue to be orange as complement. Um, and using my schminky watercolors, it's just a lot of fun. I think I'm gonna do some larger um, separate pieces of this. I think I mentioned that earlier. I'm gonna try and get to that today. I did a little test cherry here, um, but really kind of want to capture this same kind of look on a piece. Hope you're having a good day and I hope it's sunny and happy wherever you are. I am hanging out in the studio. I have a little inspiration corner here that I hang out in when I'm trying to think of stuff to do. I also am taking that <clears throat> Mab doll right there and using it as inspiration for this little illustration I am doing. So I'm part of a um, swap group on Instagram and I'm gonna send this to Mab herself because that was one of her favorite dolls. So working on it, gonna hit the watercolor part of it next and excited to see how she turns out. So I am done. There is the original Blythe doll from Mab Graves and here is my watercolor illustration to give her as a keepsake. Um, I'm in love with this doll and I tried to really capture some of like the glittery elements. You can kind of see there's some gold watercolor in there and I mixed a lot of the colors used on her to kind of match the dress and even the little um, original cameo that Mab painted, I did a little version of it so you can kind of see there the little poodle and there's my little representation on her. I'm excited to get this in the mail and see what she thinks. It is Saturday and I am up in the office. I need to do some finances, check out and package up some orders for Etsy. Um, finally package up the swap stuff I'm doing and get that to the post office. Got up super early, had a run, yay. Really trying to find, I don't know why I can't find 30 minutes in my day to exercise on a regular basis. It's, it's 30 minutes. Does anybody else have that problem? Man, I'm trying to like schedule it. I'm trying to like set expectations with people. It's just like, get the shoes on and do it. It's really, I don't know why it's so challenging. I can do art every day, but apparently exercise falls to the bottom of the list. So I really wanna keep focusing on that. Um, I also wanna get into the studio today. Since I get up extra early, I feel like, and exercised, I feel like I have extra energy. So let's put that to good use and do some creating. Um, and yeah, I will check you out later throughout the day. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one. It is the early evening. It is still Saturday. I'm in my studio. I just finished playing Just Dance 2018 with Elliot, which was insane, and I am super hot now. <laughs> Chris is out there making dinner, and I'm gonna hit my draw right daily. Today is beet, and here's my beet. I love beets personally. Um, Chris does not like them. I will eat them any which way I can in a salad out of a can. I think it's from when I grew up with my grandmother. She loved beets and so we had them all the time. Um, and I love how I decided to mix the complementary colors here, the purple and the yellow. It just looks like a lot of fun beet on the page. I also have a bunch of cards cut. I'm gonna be starting my next series of vision cards. My first set is here, and you can see there's 16 different ones in my first set. I still have a few of these left in my Etsy shop. They are pretty cool. I have them professionally printed, and I'm going to make another set starting this weekend. So I'll try and do some time lapse as I make these. They're a lot of fun to do, and uh, I can't wait to get a whole series made. All right, I am upstairs now. I have finishing touches to do on some of the videos I have for Wonderlust. This is mountains, so we're building a whole spread here. If you are not part of Wonderlust, you can still sign up, check it out on my class site, on my website, draw it, and join me for the fun. All right, it is late on Saturday night. I have the laundry done, the dishes done, Elliot is put to bed. I am in the studio and I am going to work on some abstract art journaling, which I am excited about and I'm gonna share it with you now. It is after.
after midnight my spread is done I had a lot of fun adding lots of layer and texture and color and I am on my way to bed hope you're having a good one and tomorrow is Sunday I guess technically it's already Sunday <laughs> anyway good night it is Sunday morning and it's Father's Day I'm being a little sneaky and quiet because I'm making biscuits and gravy vegan of course check it out so I have kind of a crazy mess here but the biscuits are now ready to go in the oven and they are topped with some vegan butter and I can't wait to see how they turn out fingers crossed all right now we're ready to start making the mushroom gravy Biscuits are done. I call these a success. Elliot is testing one out. What do you think? Amazing. <laughs> and the gravy is cooking up. Now I have a giant mess in the kitchen, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, check it out. Gravy success, biscuit success, a little sweet fruit on the side, and we are ready to serve Father's Day breakfast. I will share um, where I got this recipe below. It's the Minimalist Baker but totally amazing if you're into vegan food or really just good, awesome food. <laughs> Definitely try it. It took about an hour and a half. She says, uh, or the Minimalist Baker says 30 minutes, 30 minutes, but I'm a little slower because I was trying to make everything perfect. So hopefully wherever you are, you have a good Father's Day and celebrate all the father figures in your life. All right, next up on the agenda is getting the Airstream into our driveway. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. It only took an hour and a half. <laughs> you did it, Chris. How does it feel? <laughs> it's staying here. This is going to become a permanent addition to the driveway. We're just camping in the driveway. Yeah. It's awesome. All right. It is early evening on Sunday. I am going to hit my draw right daily. I'm going to watch Jurassic World with Elliot and make some dinner. I hope you have an awesome week next week. And I hope you had an awesome one this week as well. I will see you next time.